Hi guys, this is Coach Bill with uh, Handgun Safety Academy. Hope you guys are having a great hot, uh, what is today, Tuesday. Hey guys, I just want to do a short video. Um, I've had a few people now ask me, you know, why have I started this Handgun Safety Academy and um, the different multiple classes that I offer at, a, um, at an older age? And actually, guys, I've been around handguns and firearms for well over 40 years. I used to have a, uh, I had a ranch, and we actually had um, a shooting range on there where I've worked with a lot of people there for, for years. Um, but in the last few years, um, I've learned, or as I talk to people, uh, even the ones that do own their own handguns for, say, home protection, they still have never gone to a, uh, uh, or actually have been to a basic handgun safety class. And uh, most all of them that I talk to really don't, aren't responsible gun owners because they really haven't had the education or the training on how to safely use a loaded handgun. And then, uh, of course, uh, those, there's a lot of people out there in the last few years, millions of them actually, that have um, actually gotten their CCW permit. And now they're carrying a loaded handgun in a concealed holster and are carrying it in pub public. And I also have learned over the last, uh, I would have to say the last six months to a year, of most of the ones I've been talking to, they don't have any idea the responsibility they hold when carrying a loaded firearm in public in a concealed holster and it's very um it's very alarming especially as more and more people are buying guns you know uh, it, it, they're saying that 48 percent of the uh, handguns being sold today are by women and it's i have found that most of them have not gone through a basic handgun class so i've taken my hobby and actually turned it into a business now, and it's Handgun Safety Academy. And I'm specializing uh, in uh, two different topics. So the first one I really, I'm specializing is, is working with the brand new shooters who most likely have never handled a handgun and they wanna learn along with their family, beginners who basically have handled a handgun and maybe have gone to the shooting range a few times but I've never gone to a basic handgun class and actually been taught the uh, safety fundamental on handling a handgun. And then those uh, intermediates out there that just don't get on the range enough to practice, because that's a big thing, repetition, repetition creates a habit and you absolutely need to practice your um, shooting skills and so the class I offer is called a basic, a basic handgun safety fundamental presentation. We go through first and then dry fire. And what that does, it's gonna teach the uh, brand new shooters, beginners and intermediates how to safely handle a firearm, how it works. And then we're actually gonna go through some uh, dry fire practice drills on all your, grit, your, your stance, your grip, um, your trigger pull, your sight alignment, sight picture, and we're going to go through multiple diff different drills to um, work on your skills. And then, of course, you're going to get a completion, a certificate of completion. And then the next step is to actually go to a live fire range using live ammo, and then practice those drills you learned in the in the uh, presentation and dry fire class, because that's really important. So it doesn't matter how experienced you are. This class will work mostly for everyone who are looking to brush, uh, brush up or review how to safely uh, use a loaded firearm and to go through some drills to sharpen up your skills and then later go to a firing range. But the other thing I do is I do a safety, a CCW preparation class for those of you that are looking to uh, either get your uh, concealed carry permit and you just don't know where to start or for those of you that already have it again this is another major topic that 
I'm seeing a lot of CCW permit holders aren't, they do not understand the responsibility they carry when they're carrying that handgun in pub, public. And they don't understand the uh, different topics that, are, that they should have been taught and most likely, from what I understand and from what I'm talking to others, they have not been taught this. And there's three major topics you need to know to keep you out of jail. Because if the unthinkable happens and you do have to draw your firearm to protect yourself or a family member, you better know when it's the right time to shoot. Because most likely, you're going to go to jail anyway. And if you don't know the fundamentals and all the different steps that you have to go through in order to uh, keep you out of prison, or if you end up going to court over it, you need to know what the procedures and the steps are. And so what they, what they are is basically the three major topics are going to be um, the legal use of uh, uh, defensive force or the violent encounters and the aftermath that's really important and you also need to know situation awareness so when you're carrying your firearm in public you need to be aware of your surroundings and this is a major topic as well because most people uh, seem to miss this particular topic so all three of these topics are for any of you out there that already have a CCW permit and those of you that are looking to get a CCW permit but not sure where to start or maybe you're looking to get one but after these three topics and we go through the laws and the steps and what you're going to go through if you have to use deadly force a CCW permit may not be for you and you may not want to take it now also what I've learned and this is really really uh frustrating and and I don't understand it is a lot of those CCW permit holders don't carry insurance to not not only protect their family from bankruptcy if that happens and you got to pay for lawyer fees but most of you I'm sure can't afford lawyer fees especially if you have to go to court and if you're involved in de deadly force that that could cause an issue with your family and financially and you could possibly lose your home and go bank bankrupt. So man, so that we talk about that in this class. So um, that's the reason why I decided to start Handgun Safety Academy is to specialize in those two topics, especially with the brand new shooters. Now, um, the basic handgun fundamental presentation and dry fire class is not only for the adults, but if you have children that are eight years old or older and you would like them to fully understand how important safety is when there's a handgun in the house, or if you want to have them actually um, use a handgun and then go through the dry fire classes in a safe environment before they actually go to a range. Now, uh, 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 eight years old up to 12 years old, we recommend a certain gun for them until they get the experience of shooting it just to just to be safe but uh that's why i actually started this biz business so if you want to know more about my classes all you got to do is go to handgunsafetyacademy.com and check out my courses or if you have any questions you can go to handgunsafetyacademy at gmail.com and i'll answer any questions you have especially for those of you that are brand new shooters or maybe you have a young child that you want to educate uh, uh, on the safety of using a uh, loaded uh, firearm or if you are a gun owner and you have a uh, and you own a gun for home defense then those kids need to understand if that gun is set out by accident what are the steps they got to go through to make sure that nobody this is including your neighbors the kids out there that maybe come maybe your your child has friends that come over and you accidentally left your gun out what are the steps your child is supposed to do be, so that nobody um, will have the unthinkable happen because 80 percent of the uh, in-home accidents are caused 
by the uh, gun owner thought he might have left his gun uh, unloaded, but actually it was loaded and one of the kids went to show their friends and accidentally shot them. So we don't want that to happen. So again, if you want more information, just go to my handgun safety academy at gmail.com and uh, we can set up, if you don't see a date that works for you, we can set up a date that best fits your time. Okay guys, so you guys have a great day.